When you think of cool, modern, incredible, organic, modern architecture, you think of standard architecture. They're absolutely phenomenal. They're extremely exclusive, so you just can't call them up and say, hey, do my house. And in terms of their lines and their functionality and their living, there's nothing better. And when you put one of their houses in Malibu, it just gets better and better and better. And that's why I love standard architecture. Welcome to Malibu, California. Today we're touring this newly constructed modern estate designed by Standard Architecture. Beautiful home, great lot, amazing location. Let's go have a look inside. All right, everyone, let's start our tour. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. We're gonna start our tour in the backyard and work our way all the way to the front. Backyard of this home is insane. We're in Malibu, weather is amazing. Today is January 1st, by the way. We slept early last night so we can shoot this amazing episode for you guys. Follow me. Now we have the steps here, taking us down to the main section of the backyard. Two pools, pool cabana on my left-hand side, sliding glass doors opening up, Look how gorgeous this structure is. Stucco, clear story windows, minimalist lines. I really like this house. Let me take everybody this way. Let's start our tour with the pool cabana. On our left hand side, we have this concrete fire pit that complements the space. Really cool ping pong table, outdoor seating area. Then we have the outdoor kitchen here, sun countertops, sink, grill. TV is nicely recessed in. And behind this structure, we actually have the outdoor bathroom. So it's nicely tucked behind. Then above us, we have this steel roof structure. You can see all these beams, beautiful space. I love that this section cantilevers over and we have the main pool here. I love this white plaster, timeless look. You can see the walkway that takes you to the home. Then we have a lap pool on the other side. And I just love the elevation difference, board from concrete walls, crushed granite, outdoor dining area. This backyard is gorgeous. Now I wanna bring everybody here so we can talk about the structure for a second. This home consists of three volumes. The one on the left is where we have the family room and the kitchen. The one in the center is where we have the former living room and the dining area. And the one on the right houses the primary bedroom suite and all the remaining guest suites. So it's this really unique structure minimalist lines, standard architecture, did a phenomenal job designing this home. Now, let's go this way. We have the hot tub here, steps taking you down. I love this walkway that cuts through the main pool and brings you from the cabana all the way to the side. Outdoor lounging areas, outdoor seating area over there in front of the formal living room. You can see that massive outdoor dining area, crush granite surround, and the landscaping of this property, design elements. These two pools, this is actually a 50 foot lap pool. It's just stunning. I'm really excited for today's video and a little bit of information about the home. We're looking at five bedrooms, eight bathrooms on the market for $23,995,000. And I wanna give big thanks to the listing agents, Brandon Williams, Rainy Williams, and Chris Cortaza for making this tour possible. Now, with that said, we're in Malibu. It's an iconic city, minutes away from Los Angeles. But the truth is, I don't spend that much time in Malibu. I feel like I don't know the area well enough. And that's why I wanna to talk to the listing agent, Brandon Williams, to learn more. You know what I love about Malibu? First of all, there's nothing like it. I mean, the Indians were the natives of Malibu and, and they had it right. You know, Malibu, Topanga, Zuma, they were the founders and it's that native, organic, soul living. This is the wild west. You have the coastline, you have the mountains, 
and there's just something magic about the land here. It's just so rustic and so beautiful. There's only 13,000 residents right now currently in Malibu. So it's still relatively small town right outside of Los Angeles. What makes Point Doom so exclusive is there's a private key with private surf breaks. So there's about six streets in the Little Doom area that have the exclusive private key to the beach. And it's some of the most beautiful bluffs and beaches in I would say all of the world. I go out surfing there and I see Anthony Kiedis dropping in on a wave on me. I mean, I'm like, oh my God, this is like surf punk rock. And I get to share a wave with this guy. I mean, it's it, it's spectacular. And And if you're lucky enough to get this key, you're lucky enough to experience truly what California Malibu lifestyle is all about. Can you imagine being able to wake up in the morning, grab your surfboard, go to a private beach where you have to have a key to access. It's shared by a few homeowners. A lot of people may not know this, but when you want to surf in Malibu, you have to share your waves with hundreds of people. Yeah. Versus if you have access to a private beach, you may have the whole beach to yourself and that's pretty darn cool to me. And something about being in Malibu, being in this tranquil environment, look at these homes. It's private, it's quiet, it's relaxing. And I mean, how cool it is that we're on a golf cart, driving around the neighborhood, looking at these beautiful, cozy homes. It's peaceful, it's tranquil up here, people are walking. And even though I'm wearing a suit, riding a golf cart, no one is judging me, so I really appreciate that. I'm judging you a little bit. A little bit? Okay, it's gonna get a little bumpy. All right, here we go. Mikey, let's show it. This is the beach access. You grab your key, you come here, you take the walkway, and you're at the beach. All right, now that we learned about Malibu and Soda Beach, let's continue our tour. We have the sliding glass doors opening up to this gorgeous family room, travertine floors, wood clad ceilings, L-shaped couch, few chairs, this beautiful coffee table. And then on this side, we have this recessing section for the TV and the fireplace, travertine shelf, skylights above bringing natural light, just a beautiful space. Now, before I cover the kitchen, I wanna come this way because we have this built-in dining area. I love this section because it's super cozy. It's kind of integrated to the elevation because the formal living room is a little bit higher up. Table, few chairs, and the chandelier is super cool. They've hung these pieces of paper. They're all in different languages. Um, it just looks very cool. Yeah, I don't know what they say, but each piece of paper has a different language. I see French. German, Sanskrit, Japanese, Romanian. Arabic, I think. Yeah, really, uh, really interesting. Without a doubt. With that, done with the family room and the dining area. I wanna take everybody this way so we can cover the kitchen. I really like the design here. Two big islands. This is all solid wood with bar seating, pendant lights above, same wood class ceilings, more skylights above bringing natural light. And then we have this picture window here bringing more natural light in. Look how beautiful this frame is. Yeah, I really like how they have all this natural light pouring into the space, even though it's kind of far away from the sliding glass doors, which are kind of the light source of this room, you know? I totally agree, and they have so many of these unique window angles and frames in this house. We're gonna see them all throughout the tour. Now, let's come here, second island, white flat panel cabinetry, marble countertops with a waterfall edge, and coming here, this is where we have the main sink, and look how beautiful these brush knuckle fixtures are. They even have a little handheld detail here. Let's see, either the dishwasher or the trash bin, and we have the dishwasher right here. Beautiful leather handle. And on the other side, we have the Mila gas cooktop, beautiful marble backsplash, book match right in the center, floating shelf design, LED lighting, your built-in appliances down below, microwave, ovens, they have the same travertine floors also here, all unfilled. And coming this way, we have the rest of the cabinetry. This is your panel freezer, fridge, additional pantry space, open shelving above. I just love the wood tones in this house. Now, before we leave the kitchen, I wanna take everybody this way. Butler's pantry, concrete countertops, small sink, dishwasher, 
and we have a wine fridge right here. Now, there's actually a hallway that takes you to a landing. On my left hand side, we have a powder bathroom with a skylight above. This staircase takes you down to the lower level where we have the garage and that garage opens up to the front of the home, which we'll see later. Now coming here, laundry room, two washers, two dryers, sink, some upper cabinetry, and I really like that all these rooms are coming to this landing, which then takes you back to the kitchen. Now, we tour the family room, built-in dining area. We're gonna take these steps so we can check out the formal living room. This is without a doubt my favorite room in this house. Love the volume, 13 foot high ceilings. These wood planks run all the way to the outside. So there's this beautiful continuity on the ceiling, clear story windows bringing natural light. These sliding glass doors open up to the patio that we just toured. Amazing views, look at all the mountains. Your backyard, travertine floors, this minimalist seating. I love this space. Yeah, I really like the, uh, the wood and the white and the travertine. I don't know why this color scheme is always like my favorite. It's just really relaxing. It feels so organic. Yeah. This house is so livable. And I really appreciate that all these sliding glass doors have the wood fronts. It just softens up the look, give this house a very timeless feel. And it's so airy. Look at the natural light coming in. Just a beautiful space. And if you look closely, there are some exquisite details. Look at the AC diffusers on the floors. They didn't want to put them on the ceiling because you kind of take away from this minimalist look. So they inserted them really nicely into the travertine and they basically custom fabricated these pieces. Look at the door handles. They're all brushed nickel. All these details, backyard views, energy of this house. I really, really like it. Now, on the other side, formal dining room. I really like this elegant dining table, seating for 14 gorgeous chandelier above, more of these clear story windows. And then we have the sliding glass doors opening up to the front of the home. And like we mentioned earlier, today we're changing the pattern of our tour. We're starting from the backyard and we're ending our tour up front because we just felt like backyard of this property is so special and we just wanted to change things up a little bit. Yeah, and the front yard is nothing to scoff at either. It's pretty cool. Without a doubt. Yeah. Now, I can't stress it enough, great natural light coming in, very minimalist. This is a big table, but the room still feels very open. On the other side, we have a double-sided gas fireplace that gives you this palm desert, kind of a desert feel. They have sand on the bottom, stucco wall, and you can see the entry from here. Just beautiful, very timeless, very timeless. Now, let's wrap around, Mikey. This is the entry of this home. Beautiful solid wood door. This opening takes you to a powder bathroom. That's for the entry and for the common spaces on this side. Now, let's go here. On our right hand side, we have the primary bedroom suite. On our left hand side, we have the guest suites. But first, I want to take everybody to this room, which is kind of like an informal seating area or a screening room, L-shaped couch, beautiful furnishings. You have your built-in speakers, recess lights above. Beautiful cabinetry, open shelving, massive TV. Same light tones are also here. Now, let's go check out the guest suites that are on this wing. I'm gonna start our tour with this bedroom. Lighter tone, hardwood floors, king size bed. You have a little authentic rustic uh, desk around the corner, and then you have sliding glass doors opening up to a private patio. Each one of the bedrooms we are about to tour get a private patio. And look how cool and cozy this space is with its own fire pit. You have the same crushed granite also here. Board from concrete wall, hedging. How cool is this? Really nice. Uh, it's uh, kind of sheltered from the light too. So it has this just really cool shaded kind of relaxing feeling to it. We're in Malibu. You just leave the sliding glass doors open all day and just enjoy the life here. Yeah. Amazing. All right, Mikey, let's go this way. Your walk-in closet. Again, more of the wood tones. You have some drawers, hangers. It's not the biggest closet, but it definitely gets the job done. Now, on the other side, we have the full bathroom. Again, unfilled travertine, water closet, skylight bringing natural light. I love these timeless concrete countertops. And whoever did the installation here and the fabrication, they did a fantastic job. It's super smooth. It has that sandy look and feel 
corners are nicely done. Then you have brushed nickel fixtures. This combination here, this is my style. I love this. I'm just curious, standard architecture designed this home. Does the architectural firm also pick finishes like the concrete sink and that kind of thing? Depending on their involvement, but this house, I feel like it's a very cohesive representation of their style. Yeah. Like everywhere I look, I feel like they were very, very involved. I don't know the degree they were involved. You know, some architects, they will design the layout and kind of like the structure of the home, but when it comes to countertops or certain finishes, owners will really get involved. Yeah. This house is a perfect representation of their work. It just looks great. Yeah, it really does. Walk-in shower, that's it. That's it for this bathroom. Now, let's go back to the hallway so we can check out the second guest suite. Look at this window detail on the floor. As you're walking, you can see the landscape up front, but it's still very private. Then you have some mood lighting above. This door takes us to the second guest suite. Same hardwood floors, king size bed, sliding glass doors open up to the private patio for this room, light and bright. And uh, Vesta is a staging company, I think. They did a really good job with the staging. Now, of course, we have the bathroom here. Again, your walk-in closet, door opens up to the bathroom, same finishes, vanity on this side, concrete countertop, and I'm going into this walk-in shower. Look how beautiful this is. Stucco finish. We have the brush nickel fixture rain head here. Look how elegant this handle is. It's a cute little handle right there. So nice. And then you have the shampoo niche here. Skylight over on this side. Beautiful bathroom. What can I say? Now, let's go back to the hallway so we can check out the last guest suite on the swing. Which starts here. Again, hardwood floors, same lighter tones. Before we tour the bedroom, I want to bring everybody here. Walk-in closet, opens up to the bathroom, long vanity, LED lit mirror, skylight above, and we have the walk-in shower right here. Now, let's go check out the bedroom, which is another beautiful space, opens up to a private patio. I believe this is a queen bed, light and bright. These bedrooms are really nice. And what's so impressive is that this is not the last guest suite. I know we haven't toured the primary bedroom yet, and we're going there next, but there's a, guest home that is attached to the main structure but has its own entrance so it's technically detached and we're going to see that space once we go up front with that we're done on this wing now let's go back to the hallway so we can continue our tour with the primary bedroom suite look how beautiful this pivot door is and then we have this staircase taking us to the primary bedroom level room is extremely cozy king size bed small seating area with a corner TV. Then we have these light fixtures framing the bed. And on this side, we have these clear story windows. And then there's a picture window right there. And all of these windows combined give this room, give this wall a very unique and a distinct look. I just, again, I just love the architecture of this house. Now, on this side, we have sliding glass doors opening up to these amazing views and to the backyard. You have a small seating area here with a fire pit table set up, your backyard, staircase taking you down to the lower level where we have the pool. Again, amazing views, just a beautiful primary bedroom. Now, I wanna take everybody this way so we can check out the bathroom. Again, this is the entry point to the bedroom. Coming here, hallway, and there are actually two closets. This is the first one. Same cabinetry is also used here. Drawers, open shelving, hangers, and on the other side. Second closet is actually a little bit bigger and we have the same finishes also here. Now, going back to the hallway, it takes us to the bathroom. Right in the center, we have this gorgeous freestanding tub. Look at the tub filler. Look at the handheld design here. These fixtures are so elegant. Then you have a dressing table with additional cabinetry, LED lit mirror, stone clad on the bottom, including the shelf, very elegant design. And before we leave this section, I wanna talk about one more thing. Well, there are also sliding glass doors opening up to a patio with a fire pit. But besides that, we have hardwood floors on this part of the bathroom. Now, putting hardwood floors in a bathroom is a controversial topic. Some people would say it's not a good idea because you have moisture in the bathroom. Or you will have people like me saying it's actually a good idea because it just warms up the space, feels great on your feet. Yes, you do have to be a little bit careful. You don't want to leave water on your hardwood floors, but the way it's installed, the way it's sealed, as long as you're willing to maintain it, as long as you're careful, you can definitely have hardwood floors in your bathroom. 
And as you can tell here, it looks gorgeous. Looks really cool, but it's not hardwood through the entire bathroom. So I no. guess you have the best of both worlds. Exactly. There's this side as well, where we have the long vanity, all marble fabricated, drawers in the center, two sinks, LED lit mirrors, ton of natural light coming in. We have two wall sconces. And turning to this side, your first water closet. Second one is right here. And then on this side, we have the walk-in shower. I'm gonna close the door. Or you can open it, Mikey. It's beautiful. All marble. These fixtures are very elegant. Rain at above. Skylight bringing natural light. Just a stunning home. And with that, we're done on the inside. Now, let's go see what's up front. All right, everyone. Let's talk about the front of this home. Beautiful solid wood pivot door. Then we have the sliding glass doors opening up to the formal dining room. Again, DJ Crash Granite landscaping. House looks so cool. Cantilevered roof line, clear story windows. Then we have this concrete walkway taking us to the driveway, board form concrete planters. And this is a great angle for us to appreciate the architectural lines of this home. Now moving on, we have this spacious driveway that can easily accommodate 30 to 40 cars. Same driveway actually continues to this side where we have the garages. We also have the Land Rover here. And this is not it for this property because right on the other side, we have the guest house. I really like the design of this guest home. Like I mentioned earlier, it's part of the main structure, but it has its own entry. Sliding glass doors open up right there. Then we have additional sliding glass doors opening up to this private patio with a fire pit. How cool is this space? Yeah, I really like that. It's a lot like the uh, other little bedrooms, private balcony or not balcony patios, patios that we saw in the other bedroom. Absolutely. Then you have a small kitchenette here, few cabinets, fridge, concrete countertops that are so smooth. I love the craftsmanship here. I really like these concrete countertops, brush nickel fixtures, and we have the seating area right here. Between the seating area and the bedroom, we have this wall creating some separation, queen size bed, wall sconces, TV on the other side. And of course, this guest house has its own walk-in closet and has its own full bathroom with a floating vanity and a walk-in shower. Now, lastly, before we leave, I want to mention guest house also has this front patio, which faces the driveway. Just a beautiful spot and really complements this house. everyone that's it from malibu hope you guys enjoyed this tour if you did make sure to give us a like subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment down below now i also want to give big thanks to the listing agents rainy williams brandon williams and chris cortazzo for making this tour possible and as always you can find more information about this listing in the description of this video and we'll see you guys next week